guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, and I'm gonna break down your first electric finger picking lesson. All right, it's gonna be fun. Also, thanks for supporting what I do here, Marty Music. Really appreciate you subscribing to the channel, clicking that bell notification, and I have uh, some great, helpful, free resources for helping you with the guitar in the description below, so check that out as well. Let's do it. All right, finger picking on electric. Um, can be very similar to finger picking on acoustic. Um, you know, you can pretty much take any acoustic finger picking style and add it to electric. So you should definitely check out my basic uh, Travis picking lesson because you can do a lot of stuff with that right on electric. Um, but this lesson, I want to take an E chord, and then we're going to take an A7 chord. So the blues of E, really. You have that. You also have that third fret high E there. And then you have B7. And so just like an acoustic finger picker, you're gonna use your, th your thumb as kind of the team captain, right? It's also the bass player. If I take an E chord and I just... A7, I'm gonna hit the A string. So, well, that's, you know, our thumbs hit the bass. Now with, uh, typically I'll use my index and middle finger and ring finger. And we're, you know, you can do a pinch where I'm hitting the bass note, but then I'm also hitting the G, uh, B, and high E, or the D, G, and B. Pinch them together, or bass, then the chord. Or combinations. A7. Same thing, except the bass is the A string instead of the E string. Now what we'll add is when we play the chord part, we're gonna hammer on that first fret of the G. Like that. So another thing is with that E chord, you have the third fret high E. You 
Uh, so the blue scale. Then you'd have the third fret of the B. Second fret of the G. So combine that, and now let's do this. Take the E minor pentatonic. Think of the, you know, third fret high E. And then the same thing on the B. And then second fret G. And second fret of the D, which is the root. And open. So then the next little exercise is take that scale and a real easy way to start is to just double up with that open E with each note. But then do the same thing, but then hit the A bass note. start putting those ideas together so you can start real sim simply just focus on well one time you could just do the high E string scale and then switch those bass notes check it out A now So with the electric too, you get those percussive slaps. Now another thing, if you've been playing guitar for a long time with a pick and you don't do any finger picking at all, and let's say you're soloing an A, You, you see John Mayer all the time, uh, Joe Bonamassa. Um, I mean, it's going to go on forever, but I'm thinking of like current players, right? So you can also do a thing where you just tuck the pick under your index finger and then you use your thumb, middle, and ring finger. So I encourage you, if you've been playing with a pick for a long time and you're just improvising, just tuck the pick in, don't drop the pick, and use some of your fingers and see if you can add that in as an arsenal as well. So think about some of these ideas, ask me some questions, and I'll do a follow-up. Have some fun. All right, you guys, thanks again so much for hanging out. Uh, like I said at the end of the video, if you have any questions about the stuff I did in this uh, lesson, 
let me know in the comments below so I can uh, do a follow up for you guys. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music by uh, hopefully liking the video and subscribing. Uh, really appreciate all that stuff, you guys. Thank you again. Hope to see you later.